Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moshix mainframe channel. This is Moshix and today we continue our series on Hello World programs in all the various languages and facilities that exist on the mainframe. Today we'll go to Rex which is a very important scripting language on the mainframe on various operating systems on the mainframe. It's kind of the, the glue language that makes it possible to use all the facilities that exist on the mainframe and script them without having to resort to assembler or higher level languages that uh, must be compiled. So a Rex can on the mainframe can both be run as a as an interpreter language as well as be compiled into object code. But today we're going to look at the since it's exactly the same language specification, we're going to just look at the interpreted version because that's how most people start to learn the language. So Rex is uh, from 1982, uh, developed by an IBMer. It's been ported to I think every imaginable platform that exists today windows linux uh, os2 the raspberry everywhere uh, there are free uh, interpreters available and compilers uh, on the work windows platform we would use brex which is uh, rex with a b in front of it uh, and linux as well um, and uh, it's just a very handy language uh, it, once you get it may look a little weird at the beginning when you look at it but once you get uh, to know the language it's actually a very fun language to use i love uh, writing stuff in in rex and uh, the more i use it the more i like it so um, let's assume that you want to use rex on zos this is a zos machine at the university of leipzig in germany which has graciously granted me an account this is zos 2.1 maybe three four years old but uh, nothing has really changed since then uh, at this level we're looking at so you would typically go into the ispf uh, primary menu and um, which is the top panel a lot of people nowadays access uh, the mainframe so through something called uh, zosmf uh, but it would be very very similar so you would easily recognize this no matter how you access the mainframe so then uh, typically your uh, somebody has given you a library um, that you can restore your source code and your files in it and I decide to put in my stuff here in Moshix uh, I'm going to put it in moshixwork.prog okay into this library so let's go to the editor and I call it uh, rex hello rex hell <laughs> not that nice hello rex maybe we call it that way okay so um, and this is our editor and uh, I'm gonna go in and put in the lines and every Rex program has to start with a Rex comment Rex program to show hello world so it needs to start with a comment that's the language specification you can't get around it um, so this is the very first line and then it's very simple we say hello world from Rex and then exit and this is really all there is to it so this is really three lines say hello world oops and we have mismatched we already managed to put in a bug in this very simple program okay single quote here and uh, I think also double quotes will work but I use single quotes alrighty so now if you want to execute it um, we go to the file browser which uh, in ISPF is 3.4 and we know we put it here in moshixwork.prog. So I say um, edit, and I should have now my hello world some here. Uh, here it is, and I just write exec. Hello world from Rex. That's very simple. We can also do it from the TSO command line. Uh, a lot of shops don't allow people, except for a chosen few, a few chosen to get into the TSO command line, and I think I'm one of them. <laughs> Uh, so I'm not going to go in there, but you could also do it from there. Or we can just go here and say uh, exec uh, moshix uh, work prog hello rex. This should also work. Yes. Okay, it would be very similar if you were at the TSO command line. You would just put this exact command here. Execute moshix work prog hello rex in my case, or whatever, you did, whatever you named it. Uh, so that's it that's really all there is to it it's short and sweet uh, from there on you can start adding more features to your hello world program uh, rex is very capable it has a free form syntax so you can put stuff anywhere uh, 
lower cap higher um, and ca capitalization doesn't matter uh, it's very very good at handling strings uh, it's very good at creating uh, arrays um, it can asso create associative arrays um, it has uh, very good facilities to manipulate objects so uh, it's it's and it has good debugging facilities built into it a tracing facility it can do um, normal math floating point and uh, it's it's a very handy handy language so you could you could write anything and uh, and if we uh, if you look at some of my previous videos, we've done very extensive system programming uh, tasks uh, showing like who's logged in and when was the machine last uh, booted or IPL'd. Uh, all these things you can do in Rex. You can do very complex tasks. Uh, uh, some programs have been written in, uh, some games have been written in Rex. Anything you can think of. It's a form complete language. So any program you can write in any other form complete language, like in C, C++, you could port to Rex and it will work so um, it has uh, it has good input output um, facilities uh, sometimes a little bit more cumbersome than you would be used to in say COBOL or PL1 but everything is doable uh, so let's go look again just if you want to look at the source code again here it is reset and I can do high rex uh, highlight Rex and so now it's uh, the editor is able to highlight uh, Rex syntax if you don't know which one it is you just say hi for highlight and then you choose in this case 14 right if I say it's um, 0 02 it would highlight it as, if it as if it was assembler but it knows it's not assembler so I choose 14 because it's Rex okay so now you have syntax highlighting and the comments are in light blue and uh, recognizes all the Rex uh, control words um, and the strings will be in white. Uh, you can also say highlight off and now everything turns green. Uh, highlight Rex and that's it. So this is the simplest program you can think of. Hello world in Rex. I uh, hope this helps and uh, in a, another video I'll make Hello Rex uh, uh, program but for ZVM, the other operating system from IBM for the mainframe. Um, and so that's going to be in another video. Hope you had fun watching. If you haven't subscribed yet to the Moshix mainframe channel, now is a good time to do it. Uh, please also head over to the uh, to the link shown here and uh, below this video uh, to uh, to sign for the petition to have IBM release to us MBS XA and VM XA, so we can do more interesting stuff. Please comment uh, if what if if you like Rex, what you don't like about it, what it is you like about it, why you detest it, why you love it, the stuff, some of the stuff you've done. Please just put it in the right comments below this video, and thank you. Goodbye.